Hello again everybody, thank you for joining us. Saturday the 18th of April 2020, two months until my birthday, just for anybody that's interested, 18th of June, I'll be 42. Hard to believe how the years are going in. But thank you for joining us. Uh, we hope you're all looking after each other, looking after yourselves, keeping safe and putting your anchor in the gospel and your hope in God and your faith in Jesus Christ. You know, if the Bible says something once, it's vital. If the Bible says something twice, it's extremely important. But for God to re-echo the same words four times in Scripture without changing them at all is very, very noteworthy. And you know, in the book of Psalms, and then three times in the book of Hebrews, we read these words. I'm going to read them from Hebrews chapter 3, verses 7 and 8. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Holy Ghost saith, and here's the words, Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. You know, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, the third person of the Trinity, speaks to us. He speaks primarily through his word, but he speaks into our consciences as well. Jesus Christ said concerning him, whenever he has come, he will reprove or convince the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment to come. And I believe that in these days in which we're living, the Holy Spirit is speaking and the Holy Spirit is moving. The Bible says in Genesis 6, my spirit shall not always strive with man. And it may be that God has been speaking to your heart, convincing you of your sin, convincing you of your need for Christ, convincing you that there's a day of judgment to come and you feel the uncertainty of life, the fear of death, the guilt of sin, the fear of God. And you maybe feel in these days, God is speaking to me. Well, four times God says, if that's the case, harden not your hearts. Harden not your hearts. I want to give you three quick reasons why, if the Spirit of God is speaking to you through the Word of God and you're troubled about your sin, troubled about your soul, and you're anxious about coming to the Savior, three Bible reasons why not to harden your hearts. First of all, because of the inevitable requirement of the soul. It is appointed unto man once to die, and after this the judgment. What is death? Death is whenever the soul and body part company. The Bible says concerning that rich man, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. And what would happen if your soul right now or tonight was to be required of thee? And God was to call you out of time and into eternity. And you were to die and leave this scene of time. Where would you be? We're not to boast of tomorrow. We have been reminded in a very vivid way recently of how tomorrow is not our own and we do not know what the future holds. God says today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts because of the inevitable requirement of the soul. Secondly, because of the imminent return of the Savior. The Lord Jesus Christ said, be ye also ready. For in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. And soon and very soon, Jesus Christ is coming back again. The signs of the times are all around us, that the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. That event is going to happen suddenly, without warning, as a thief in the night. And the Son of God is coming back again, coming to receive his own and coming to judge the world in righteousness. Are you ready for that day? That day could come upon us like a thief in the night and many will not be ready. Therefore, it's so important if God speaks to you today, harden not your hearts. And then lastly, not just because of the inevitable requirement of the soul and the imminent return of the Savior, but also because of the incessant resisting of the Spirit. The Apostle spoke to the people of his day and says, Ye fools and stiff-necked, as your fathers resisted the Holy Ghost, so also do you. Maybe the Spirit of God has been convicting you, drawing you, showing you your need for Christ, but you harden your heart. 
and you harden your neck. The Bible says, He that being often reproved hardeneth his neck shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. My spirit shall not always strive with man. Paul says here, the Holy Ghost is speaking. And maybe he's been speaking to you, but you harden your heart and you harden your neck and you could hear God's voice for the last time. And maybe tomorrow, if God gives you tomorrow, your heart will be cold and silent. No sense of God, no sense of need, no sense of desire to come to the Saviour. So important if God speaks to you, harden not your hearts. Come to the Saviour. Make no delay. Here in his word, he has shown us the way. Here in our midst, he's standing today tenderly saying, come. You come to the Saviour. Come just as you are. Come believing on Jesus Christ. Believe that he died for you on the cross, shed his blood, is alive forevermore. And confess your sin and put your trust in Jesus Christ and be saved. Thank you for listening. God bless you.